morning. Welcome back to Megan's Kitchen. Um, today I am going to be working with our winter squash. And this winter squash, I'll show you the whole form of it, is called a kabocha. And it kind of looks like a pumpkin. It's yellow, I mean orange. It's, uh, in this form it's really firm, it's really hard to deal with. So what I'm going to do is I cut it in half. And I am going to take my spoon, I'm going to scoop out the seeds. Can you guys see the seeds in the middle of it? I'm scooping it out, taking all my seeds out and all the meat inside that's in there. I believe you could take the seeds and put them in the oven. Uh, I would soak them in some salt water first and make some pumpkin seeds out of them. It's just a, uh, it's just a relative of the pumpkin. And see, I got it all cleaned out. I'm going to chop it up. Now this thing is really hard to chop, so i got to use a lot of leverage on it. Ugh. Now these squashes you can keep in your house, and they could stay around for a long time, a couple months. And so they're really good winter squashes, and they're just coming on right now. And this squash came from Green Fire Farm, from Grady Walker again. And it's what we received in our veggie club bag last week, so I wanted to do it. And I know you guys was excited, and I know you guys was waiting for kale. I'm sorry. No kale this week. And by the way, pumpkin, orchid, I hope you're eating your kale. So, I got this all chopped up. As you can see, took some leverage. Just chunk it up. It doesn't have to be in any sizes. Just chunk it up. And I'm going to add it to my pan over here. Like that, and uh, I'm going to turn my light so you can see my pan, just like that. And I'm going to add some sprinkles of uh, ground cinnamon, um, a cup of dark brown sugar, a couple tablespoons of country crock. If you have butter, please use butter. I just didn't have any butter on me. And then a cup of water. Now I'm going to turn this on a medium simmer and I'm going to let it simmer for about a half hour or so. And then during that half hour it'll get to a soft state, which I already have some pre-done. And it's full of brown sugar and cinnamon, smells really good. Now today I'm going to be using it to make some muffins. And I'm going to use it with my bakery mix. This stuff is the best stuff I receive from my commodities, I use it for everything. And it has a nice muffin direction, if you can see it in the back. I'm going to follow the directions on it. And what I want to do with my kabocha, when it's like this, I'm going to put it in my food processor over here so you can follow me on over. I'm going to turn my light back this way. I'm going to move my pan so that you can see it. It's just a little teeny food processor. And I'm going to pour my squash in it. And mush it up. Now, I'm going to bring you a little closer so you can see what I'm doing over here. Yay, closer. Can you see it? So I'm going to mush it up. Now, this squash kind of ten tends to stay thick in there so you can see it's still thick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some olive oil to it just to thin out the consistency of it because I want it to be more of a puree. So I'm going to take a little bit of my olive oil, extra virgin, add a couple teaspoons, tablespoons, whatever you want. I just like to do it so it makes it more um, liquid, liquidy and not so thick. It's a little thinner. It's not so liquidy, but it's good enough to a consistency I want. And I'm going to come back over here. Sorry. I got you guys on a lazy system here, so it likes to turn wherever it wants to sometimes. Okay. So I'm going to take my bakery mix. Sorry. Hope I'm make, making you guys motion sick. Okay, I'm 
going to take my bakery mix. I'm going to put it in my little mixing bowl. First, I'm going to add the liquid stuff, which says, um, says one egg. My fresh eggs again. Two tablespoons of oil. Now, I like using caps. Sorry if I didn't use a regular tablespoon. I like using caps because that worked for me. And I'm going to be using the Kamad milk, your skim milk that we have. And I already got it in a, it says a, a cup and an eighth, so I already got it in that form. Pour it in, and I'm going to beat it. Get it all mixed together. And then I'm going to add my sugar. Now it says to add a fourth a cup of sugar. So I'm going to do that. Thank you, food distribution, for my measuring cup. I really love it. And I'm going to mix that up. And then I'm going to add, it says two cups of bakery mix, but I'm going to add a um, two and a, a half cups because of the extra kabocha I'm going to add to it. It's going to make it more liquidy. So one, can you guys see me? Two and a half. Mix it all together. And I like to tell kids when they're doing their whisking, keep your arm, your elbow straight out and make your wrist and then just move your hand. And that's how you whisk. I always teach the kids that when I'm making them whisk. Now I'm going to add my kabocha. I'm going to grab a spoon. I'm going to spoon it out. Now in here is probably about a cup and a half. I'm going to try to add about half of it to the recipe. It's great stuff. It smells just like pumpkin mix. And so it's kind of like a pumpkin muffin, but it's a kabocha muffin. So mix it all together. Now you can check out my mix. So that's my kombucha muffin mix. It's a little orange if you can see it. And I am going to pull out my muffins from the oven. So we'll check them out. Now I put these ones in. It says um, on the mix 13 minutes or so, but they took a little bit longer because I had it more, added more mix to my muffin pan. So here they are. They smell delicious. So you could use the kabocha and just about anything that you use pumpkin in. So if you want to make a kabocha pie, you can do that. So these are kabocha muffins. And uh, I just wanted to show you an easy way to make it with your commodities. Um, I'm going to add some information about winter squashes on my Facebook page. So look for those. I want to thank the people that help make this possible and the programs that make this possible. I'd like to thank Grady Walker for his beautiful produce at Green Fire Farm. I'd like to thank the Food Distribution, the Hoopa Valley Tribe, the Clam Trinity Resource Conservation District, and Veggie Club. Thank you again. Talk to you later.